Hi, I'm Construction Gamer, and this is the UK Northern Powerhouse on Transport Fever 2. This is going to be episode number 22 in the series, and in this episode we're going to be heading over to the West Coast Main Line, um, more specifically to Wigan, because I want to get Wigan uh, Northwestern and Wigan North uh, North Wallgate uh, in. If you missed the live stream, I have now posted the live stream footage um, which is officially episode 21 in it which we built the line from Hull up towards Scarborough uh, call it Brid Bridlington and um, somewhere else Driffield that'll be it uh, we're currently sat at York Station I have completely reconfigured this if you didn't see the live stream then you wouldn't have seen the reconfigured York Station so in the middle I think as far as I could figure out are the two bay platforms facing north and south so if I had to put in um, that's the Scarborough branch so that's going to go off to Scarborough so put in the turn back facilities here and here heading north up towards um, Darlington yeah um, and North Allerton and then heading south obviously you've got the Leeds line and then you've got the main east coast main line we've got now now class 158s on the route and we've got uh, class 91s uh, in city 225s on the east coast main line now as we have sped the time up a little bit and we're now in 1992 i just wanted to unlock some new vehicles particularly the 158 because they are quite useful for a lot of the regional routes They're capable of 90 miles per hour so a bit of an upgrade from the class 101s as a in city 225 just arrives into York. Let's see how many people he's got on board. He's full now. Last time I checked, if we go to the rail routes, check the balances. Yeah, the uh, LNER Darlington to Grantham, all calling all stations in between, is making 40 million, which isn't too bad. And the Trans Pennine Express ones keep bumping up and down, sometimes they're in a loss, like this one here and sometimes they're in A plus or a gain so you can see here I've changed all the trains now why Why are you a 156? that's interesting I don't, I'm not sure why right so what are we looking at there the Leeds, Leeds Sheffield um, let's just take a quick look at that before we go any further Leeds Sheffield we want to be replaced by do you want to be four cars? Do you need to be four cars? Potentially. Um, let's place that vehicle diesel with one of them. I think it's just a regional two car, like so. And what I want to do also is all the rail, rail vehicles want to be maintenance of plus twenty five percent. I think as do all of the road vehicles as well just in case they're not set to 25% I know it increases their overall running costs but it does make a big difference in terms of noise emissions which are critical although yeah just look I, I think my uh, noise emission layer is a is a bit broken potentially <laughs> so I can't see what the emissions are which is a bit um, frustrating I'm not sure if it's broken for anyone else but I do have a number of mods running now so but emissions are important for this game so uh, yeah we need to if, I think in general if you set your maintenance to 25% it sort of stops them deteriorating too quickly so we've done enough of that now I'm gonna try and kind of swap between the east coast and then back over to the west coast so we're getting a f each bit is getting a fair share of the uh, of the time um, as we have a bus in there what's he doing he, oh, we've got two bus routes in there um, you go to Warrington and you go to St Helens I think bus routes Oh, hold on, we've got to get rid of the vehicles first. So just the vehicles we can see. And we're going to sell all of them. And then get rid of these two. What do you mean? 
Um, Mornington Wigan. Yes, get rid. Like so. Don't need it going to Warrington anymore because we are going to have a train service in at some stage. And unfortunately, Wigan is going to be decimated. Uh, I want to get the station right in the middle of the town. I think it's a town. I don't think Wigan's a city, or is it? It might be. Um, but yeah, it's. Oof. Now I have messed up before. I know Stafford is a bit um, isn't doing particularly well because I demolished half of that. But I want to get these in right, and um, Wigan is particularly tricky in that it's got two stations very close to each other, and one goes above the lost. You know, it's it's quite complicated. So what we're going to do is building. Building size one, tracks one. Needs to be 240 metres long because it's a mainline station. And I think pretty much this whole episode is going to be on this. So if we put in Wigan Northwestern there, like so. And then it's quite an unusual configuration. Because I would like to get the West Coast Main Line in so we can start running West Coast Main Line services, but um, we do have to do a lot. Because, like the East Coast Main Line, that was relatively easy. I mean, it's not finished yet. Because I do want to make it look a little bit more realistic, but. Um, that was relatively straightforward where the West Coast Main Line is just a little bit trickier to uh, to build a bit a uh, bit more complicated especially if you want to I mean I'm not known for kind of super accuracy I know that much but I do try and give it, you know, just a little flavour of what the station is like and what the track's like within the realms of the um, the scale which we're working with. Um, so yeah, we're going to try and make Wigan more Wigan Northwestern as realistic as we can make it. I know it's got. Uh, looks as if it's got a set of bay platforms on the southernmost section of the station but we're not going to put in those I can't see any use for those within the services that I'm going to put into place so um, we're just going to do that and then it's going to need a little bit of a platform over here and I'm just going to put one of I know the entrance is on this side but I do like to have a separate uh, entrance on the other side just to maximize the reach of the station and then if we look towards passenger buildings we'll just put in a little uh, modest station building like so and then uh, platforms we'll have a set of underpasses like so. Um, in fact, I might just have a double set just for uh, balance more than anything. And what else? Um, misc. Actually, platforms, waiting rooms. Um, waiting room. Fun. Alright, oh, okay, we'll delete them then. Yeah, so if you have a set either side, um, like so, 
and then I think Wigan Northwestern is just going to be canopies. It's not going to be. Uh, there's no arched roof. It is just quite a a simple station, I think. So I'll get that in there. Maybe put some on this side as well. Why not? Just to make it look a little bit better. And then that is that's Wigan Northwestern done. Um, right, so we want a road to connect. We'll use a little bit. I use a small road. Maybe he wants to go down a little bit. Nope, maybe not. Let's line that up. Yeah, it's a bit higher. Yeah, why is that so high? Let's try that again. It's not the end of the world, but I just don't like having that little step up to the station. Right, so that's in there. And now if we go down, push strength. Actually, we need to be careful, don't we? When does water begin to appear? Just want this little bit of land, just a little bit lower than Wigan Northwestern. Hopefully, this won't start to fill with water. That wouldn't be good. <clears throat> so yeah, Wigan Northwestern wants to be a little bit over here, I think, just to make things a little bit easier on ourselves. And then just wants to be um, blue one two. I'm just going to have two, I think. And just go for 120. That should be enough for a f any um, for a four car train. I think 120 should be long enough. I'm just going to chuck that in there like that. Okie dokie. Let's just try and get some tracks in. Um, this is where it starts to get a little bit tricky. So we've got some tracks. Keep them on the level just as they come out of the station. And then actually we need to get the west coast curve. And this is it's quite a strange approach really into the station because it uh, the west coast main line kind of goes north south but then it takes quite a an aggressive turn what's that 80 coming down slowing down just ever so slightly as we turn into Wigan Northwestern like that I think that will do um, yeah, I mean the trains are going to be slowing down. I think all services stop at Wigan Northwestern, so having them slow down isn't the end of the world. We just want to check the junctions nice and flat. Keeping the electrification on now because we will be electrifying the uh, the West Coast Main Line at some point. And then that wants to curve. That wants to go down quite aggressively. Yeah, it's not. Um, no, it's not. <laughs> it's nowhere near as bad as that. So let's try again, shall we? Um, where's this going to be going over? It's going to be going towards Southport anyway. So um, maybe. Yeah, I'll just. I'll put some tracks in, but they do want to be. Sort of like that, and then Wigan Northwestern kind of sweeps over the, the North West Coast Main Line, rather sweeps over the top of them, and we'll put them on a, uh, a concrete bridge, I think. And sweep these out, hopefully. I'll just put them in, then I'll check and see what the junction looks like afterwards. That approach is quite slow, but again, they are slowing down to come into the station. The junctions look look flat to me. 
and then this wants to head off towards Preston. So this could actually do with oh no, deleted the wrong track. Swinging in a bit more aggressively, or swinging out, or whatever. Um, let's go with the that one actually. Preston. Preston's over there, so continue to curve for a little bit. And then we want to start getting back up to speed fairly quickly. Yeah, and then that goes off somewhere. The next trick is getting these tracks. These tracks want to join up with the West Coast Main Line briefly before these actually. I guess in real life there is some sort of junction arrangement so trains can switch between the Wigan North Western and the West Coast Main Line routes but I don't think we need those in this particular instance. So I'm just going to leave that like that. Just a little bit of a hint of what it's like in real life rather than ooh, actually being useful in any sort of way. Okie dokie. Now this is where we get to uh, things get a bit more interesting. So we want a road underneath the West Coast Main Line. We'll do it in the tunnel just for simplicity. Let's see if we can raise it up a tiny little bit. A little bit more. Maybe one more. Ooh, will it do it again? No, it's too much. Oh now I've ruined it all together. Right, so do that like that, and then this is going to have to be quite ugly. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't think Wigan Wallgate is low enough, unfortunately, but uh, it is what it is. Push that right back to push that right back to there, and then bring try and bring this up quite aggressively if we can. And that's not going to clear the top of that. Hmm. Okay, so let's put a full-size road in because we to about there, and then try this again. Um, no, not like that. Something a bit more like that. That'd be nice. Like that. And I think actually, configure we will have. Why isn't it done? Actually, don't have um, canopy. So I guess we'll have canopy. No, we'll try and get them the right colour. We'll have them right to the end, I guess. But what I did want to do was just put in a set of stairs, steps rather, not stairs, um, fences. So at least people can walk between Wigan Wallgate and Wigan North Western. And I don't think we're going to be able to cross those tracks. So we bring the bridge right over here. Make sure there's no collision. Make sure we've got gauge clearance, which we have as a bit of... No, that should be alright. I'm not sure if this is going to work, but uh, here goes. Oh, maybe. Right, so if we go up to about there. And then bring this down to here. 
Actually, that doesn't look horrendous, I think, is the best we're going to get away with on that, and then join that back up to there. And we'll have some straight roads in. Like so. Yeah, I kind of I thought Wigan Northwestern would probably take most of the not Wigan Northwestern, but doing Wigan rather would take most of the episode, and it pretty much has. I would have liked to have got more of the West Coast Main Line is because we've in because we've got to get all the way up to um, the Oxenholm, I think. I'll, I'll double check before I finish the episode. Put some road in. Try and encourage some uh, some redevelopment. After demolishing half of the town, and then bring this back up. Hopefully, they will try and move back in. They'll need a road along here, don't we? Like that. Get that in there. Too much slope. Is there? Oh, yeah, there is actually. Um, okay, well, that's going to go into there. And then curl this round. Can we go down quite aggressively? We can. Bit of straight road. Check it's not horrendous, which it's alright, I guess. And then. I kind of think, actually, I want to. Flat. Keep that on the level to about there. And then I want another bridge across the West Coast Main Line. Uh, actually, we'll use the, uh, the T type bridge because that looks. As close as we're going to get without the uh, the bridge mod, which I forgot what it's called. The girder bridges that you see across you, uh, the UK. We don't have that mod. I'm not in, not aware of it being in development for this game, unfortunately. Um, so I think that is probably about as close as we're going to get to it. I think it will it will do, I think. And then I want to get this joint back up again. Join that back up to everything else. Just put in a load of roads just to encourage development. Just do, do a bit of bit of smoothing, just again, just trying to encourage them to start building on this plot of land and we can actually unpause the game now can't we it does look a bit of a mess I admit that much but getting Wigan um, getting Wigan Northwestern and Wigan Wargate who can interact together and be in sort of the right locations is quite quite tricky and that needs to be turned up to the max Uh, just smooth some of this off. Now we don't have any turn back, so I think what I will do actually, will I? Yeah, because we've got to get all the way up to Preston. We've got Preston, Lancaster, and then Oxenholm is the last station on the West Coast Main Line, so that is going to be quite tricky. Getting all that to work and keep it at 125 miles per hour as well. So what I'm thinking of doing is a bit, a bit unusual. I'm just going to put in a, a crossing in there. Chuck a signal on there, and then that'll be it. And then. At least we can turn back services because I want to try and get um, <laughs> Wigan to rebuild. So what we need, and because it has, doesn't have any bus service anymore, so we're going to have Wigan sidings. Wigan North. Is it Northwestern? Hmm. Not sure. I'll double check that. Western. 
So Wigan two. Oh, creates a new line. New line. Wigan Warrington. And then I'm not sure does it stop. There is a service that stops at crew. I'll stop it at crew. Yeah, I'm moaning. Um, Stafford. Stafford sidings or whatever it's called. Back to crew. Point of bank key. Oh, that's crew. What have I done there? You're not stopping at Hartford. We go northwestern, Warrington, crew, Stafford, and then get rid of Hartford. Um, now, while we have an auto save. Right, so. Now. This is where things get a little bit. What does a white line look like? It looks like absolutely nothing. But we will go with it. The problem is because London Northwestern Railway and Avanti are both. are both kind of green. Although Avanti is white as well. And I know it's 1992 and it's not Avanti yet. It's not even Virgin. But. I am going again, keep saying this, we're going off today's kind of timetable, today's um, operators. So I think I will rename, I will name this as its eventual northern terminus and then Stafford is just... Um, Stafford, it's STA, Stafford. So eventually this will be the Avanti West Coast Oxenone to Stafford service calling Warrington Bank Key, Preston Wigan Northwestern crew. Although I'm not sure some of them call it crew, some of them don't actually know. Yeah, the problem is you've got two different services. You've got the Scotland to Euston via Birmingham, which does call it crew, and then you've got the Scotland to Euston, which doesn't call, which calls Trent Valley basically, uh, which doesn't call it crew. But I think I'm going to have it calling it crew in this particular instance. Um, we just want to make sure we're all on the right sort of platforms. That really is quite kind of opaque, isn't it? I think if we go for, actually what I will do is the London North Western Railway will be the lighter greens and we'll imagine them as uh, London Midland kind of greens and the Avanti we will use the darker greens. I think that makes a bit more sense in my head anyway. Um, Warrington Bank Key, why are you all on the same platform? Terminals. So, right, number two wants to be on platform one. That's better. Um, and we will change the. We'll change the London North Western Railway colours to um, lighter greens. That works. comes down to there. Are we going to have to put a waypoint in? Um, no, that's all right. They are, if you're heading up or towards London, they, the two, the leftmost two tracks are the up-down fasts and the rightmost two tracks are the up-down slows as far as I can gather. So they are all on the right ones. Yeah, the waypoint there is just in case any of the slow London Northwestern Railway services try and go on the fast lines, which we don't want. And yeah, they're all fine. Uh, I think actually, no, we'll just have to leave it at that. Now, do I have any dep a depot anywhere close to hand? I don't think I do. So we'll come into Wigan. And we'll build some temporary. Actually, if we just 
move that. That's just a temporary uh, switch anyway. Get some tracks in. Get that on too. No, no, no. Yes. Because again, this is going to be temporary. And then join that up as well. So they can... These two separate tracks can interact a bit. Actually, I'll put what I'll do is I'll put the depot in first. That makes things a little bit easier, I think. Let's put the depot in first. Make sure it's on the same level as that track. Don't need high speed tracks for the depot connections. Is that going to let me do that without looking awful? Let's just double check. Yeah, it does start to lift, but that's alright. We can live with that, I think. And we need to put that switch back in, don't we? Um, so we can get onto the right platforms. One-way signals. We want a signal. There. Like that. And then I will have a couple of these. Uh, like so. Right, so what are we going to put on here? Um, we want, what have we got? These, no, uh, electric. I haven't electrified the uh, West Coast Main Line fully yet. Have we got any, what's that? Parcel sector intercity. Oh, yeah, we won't have any. So we'll go with Northwest Intercity Swallow. And passenger, we do have Mark 3, and we'll go with. A, no, <laughs> still can't get used to this system. Right, okay, Mark 3. We'll have a buffet car, because it's still got a capacity of 22 anyway. We do have. That says BR Blue, but that's clearly a Virgin. Uh, and then one, two, three, four. Um, yeah, I think we'll do that. We haven't got any uh, driving vehicles, unfortunately, so it is just going to have to turn round. But I think we want three. That's going to be expensive. That on there like that. Oh yeah, if you didn't um, if you didn't see the live stream, you won't know that we do have we have had a cash injection of what? Oh yeah. <laughs> right, pause that. Electrification. We need to electrify the West Coast Main Line, so we're going to use the spanner tool because that makes everything easier. We want to electrify. We've electrified the wrong station. As far as I'm aware, Wigan Wallgate is not electrified. I won't electrify the Chat Moss line yet. I will leave that just for a little bit longer. But I will will electrify the um, the West Coast Main Line. Let's get that done. Like so. I think no, we don't need to. Uh, don't need to electrify the freight line because the only freight trains we have running anyway go on the North North Cheshire line. Is it? We'll call it towards Stanlow. And what I had done actually is I'd put on a couple more ships. And I'd put. Uh, an oil well or some oil wells, an oil well, 
uh, on Barrow and Furnace. So we've got barges coming from Barrow and Furnace down to. Ooh, I felt like it was going to crash then. Yeah, so I've put on a fleet of barges from Barrow and Furnace down to Stanlow in order to get more oil because I want to start shipping a bit more fuel. We've, I've already put in a couple of lines, so we've got a fuel line going to Birkenhead and a fuel line going from Stanlow to Ellesmere Port, which isn't far. Um, but it's just hopefully get Ellesmere Port to grow a little bit. Right, so that's all electrified. They should be happy now. We can go back up to where we were, which is Wigan Northwestern, and unpause the game. And hopefully, he should be happy. And then we just need to wait. I think I'm going to wait for him to get to about crew before I release the other one. I try to unbunch the trains, but it's um, it's a thankless task and. They just, they just seem to get all sort of bunched up together, which you can't really help, unfortunately. Let's see what sort of speed he gets up as he heads down to Warrington. These should, what are these capable of? 110? These should be. He makes this, he didn't get up too much speed, but hopefully, this should be quite successful. If the East Coast Main Line, the LNER services, are anything to go by, then this should be quite successful. Although, I have had a bit of trouble with the London North Western Railway services from Liverpool to Stafford, but hopefully, we can encourage Stafford to grow a little bit because it, uh, like I said, has been decimated before by my overzealous demolition. But yeah, I'm just going to. Um, all I'm going to do now is wait for these trains to get where they're going, and then in the next episode we can see if I'm right and this has been a success or not, and um, see where we're up to from there. Oh, we've got some more 92s, but I'm going to uh, going to leave it there for today. I know we haven't really got much going on at uh, Wigan Northwestern in a minute, but I will. Um, I will endeavour to tidy this up and maybe a little bit of paint will make it look a little bit nicer. But I'm going to leave it there for today. I'm going to say until next time, bye bye.